Hi, my name is Kenneth Wajda and here's another one of my photography talks. I'm a professional photographer in Colorado and I like to bring these little talks to you and hopefully you're enjoying those and engaging in our comments. That's always fun to see. So today I want to talk about being a photojournalist and learning about rights. So when I worked at a daily newspaper back in New Jersey, I had to photograph one day the DMV. And I was standing on the street, I was photographing the DMV, and somebody from the DMV came out and said, no photography is allowed of the DMV. And knowing my rights as a photojournalist, I said, no, I can photograph it because I'm standing on a public street and it's in view of this public street. Not to mention I'm doing it for a news story, but even if I wasn't, I have a right to photograph whatever I can see from a public street. And they tried to tell me that I could, but I knew I could. And it was for a story. And a similar thing happened to me when I moved to Colorado. I was working for a small weekly called the Colorado Springs Independent. And they asked me to go down and shoot the Supermax prison, which is where Timothy McVeigh and the Unabomber is now. And all the biggest US criminals go there. And it's like incredibly high security. But you can see the, the sign and the entrance from the street. So I pulled over next to the sign and I got out and I started photographing the guard booth and you could barely see some of the prison in the background, but a lot of it's underground. And right away I watched the cops come over. I watched them coming. I knew they were coming for me. And they said, you can't take photographs of the prison. And I said, that's not true. I actually am working for the press. And even if I wasn't, I'm standing on a public street and I can. And they said, since 9-11, it's not allowed. And I said, that's not true. And they said, we're going to take down your name and we're going to report you. And I said, okay, and I'm going to take down your name and I'm going to report you to the Bureau of Prisons, which I did. And I called the Bureau of Prisons in Washington, D.C. And I got a very nice letter back from a woman who was one of the directors there. And she said she would send a note out to them to allow them to find out that it is ac actually accurate that I can photograph and that hang on to this letter and keep it with me in case I ever need to go back there again, I can show it to them. Because we do have a right from a public space to photograph really anything. And the fact that I was working for a newspaper and I had credentials, that's you know one other, I guess, source of, of authority. But the truth is, you don't even need that. The laws say you can photograph anything that you photograph and can see in public. Now, you can photograph that big guy and he can punch you in the nose. That also could happen, but you have to be a little bit careful with photographing people. But most of the time, if you ask people if they can be, if you can photograph them, they'll say, yeah. People find it uh, somewhat flattering to have somebody ask them to be photographed. So I, I don't find it very uh, difficult to photograph people in public, to photograph places in public. If anybody comes up to you and says, you know, if you're standing on the bank property and they say you can't be photographing the bank because you're on our property, they're right and you have to step outside. If you are at the shopping mall, they probably can say this isn't a public place even though you're in between stores in the mall, you're probably still in a, pub in a private place. Anytime there's a private place, they can set rules. But if you're in public, you have the right. And to know your right means that you can tell them directly with no, you know, no raised voices, no anger, just to tell them that you understand that you know your rights and you can photograph in public. Now, if a cop is telling you that you can, he's going to arrest you, you may be right, but you also may be delayed. So you have to weigh what is worth this photo. How important is that photo? That prison photo I needed because the newspaper had sent me out and they were going to publish it and they had a deadline. I don't know if I would have gone to jail for it, but there wasn't really any risk of that. Anyway, some points and comments on knowing your rights as a photographer to shoot in public, and I'll bring you some more of these soon. Thanks for watching.